Welcome everybody, I'm Reload, it's a fine day to play some video games, and today I'm playing Hellblade Sauna's Sacrifice in VR. The game just became available on Steam on July 31st, right in the evening, and I'm taking my first look. Uh, the VR version is free for anybody that has the original game already purchased in their Steam library. Um, yeah, so let's check it out. I am playing below the minimum settings once again, I think. Sorry, minimum requirements. Um, I believe you need uh, GTX 1070 to play at least, but I am playing on my 980 Ti. So Ti is a really good card. I am both playing and recording the gameplay footage. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully the gameplay footage is alright. Whoa. Cool rune. And I am playing using my Steam controller. You can use keyboard and mouse if you'd like. This is a seated experience in VR. Um, you don't. There's not a lot of them out there, and I'm really glad to, to finally try one out, especially from a AAA game like this one. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. She looking closer. She needs to look closer. Focus. Right away. All right. That's how you focus. Okay. Do not forget my story, Cinema, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Cool, so there's going to be a lot of overlapping talking, so I'm not sure if I'll be commenting a lot on this game, but I will be showing you raw, unfiltered gameplay. Um, just like the latest game that I reviewed on Amorphine, this game concentrates a lot on mental health issues. I believe you get to experience kind of what it's like to have psychosis, so there's a, a lot of warnings before you start playing the game. Um, and already I could tell the whispering into different ears that that's messing me up. The introduction to this game was roughly 10 minutes and it's very visual, very interesting. Um, so far though, this is the first game I'm playing where I'm experiencing VR in third person. <laughs> yeah, the sounds are really unnerving. The only thing I think I would like to change is the fact that I kind of can't really see well over the shoulder of Sarno here. <laughs> this is actually quite scary, I'll be honest. Can I run? How do I run, by the way? Oh, there we go. We're running now. Wow. Oh, cutscenes look like this. Cool. which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. Yes, that is a skull she's holding, that is breathing. Dear 
So I wonder if I can actually reposition the character a little bit. There we go, so I have done a bit of a camera offset. You can actually offset vertical and horizontal positions. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the final production on YouTube, depending on the audio codec. But yeah, the voices there are coming in different ears. It is very disconcerting actually <laughs> to keep hearing that. Is that another room? Let's take a look. There we go. The Northmen speak. The Northmen speak. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Oh, it's still echoes. <laughs> Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Yep, we heard the speech twice there, sorry about that. We are going to Helheim, so as far as I know, the storyline centers around Se Senua, whose husband was killed by the Vikings. <laughs> Quickly come, quick. And now she's trying to get him back, I believe she only has the head. That's what she's carrying her satchel there. <laughs> What's she waiting for? Turn around. I'm still trying to work out the controls, by the Why way. Did she, do that? she shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. Can't go back. Yeah, it's too 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 tall, okay. I haven't experienced any combat yet, I'm not sure how crazy is going to be with it. it's going to be fighting people, fighting spirits, any other scary craziness. Ooh, cool gate. Again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. 
Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Come closer. I can see one. Why aren't you looking Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Cool. A little bit of puzzle, okay. I have no idea where I can find it. Oh, there it is. No, never mind, it's not. Just floating everywhere. Does that mean I'm going the wrong way? Let's go back. It's near. Focus, and you will find it. Problem is that I can't really see too well. Oh, there it is. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. Let's open this gate. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not. It worked. Alright, we're gonna cross this bridge for the dead. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. So she's picking up voices in her head as she goes along so far. Another voice joins us. There we go. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What is that? When we are always here. So this game does have the uh, historical expert and a mental health expert that it consulted the game developer. That's pretty cool. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things. Ooh, another room. The world of the world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Alright, let's go find this Hela. I'll watch the latest horror movie. <laughs> I know how it ends. <laughs> I gotta say, I do like the way the cutscenes work. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh! Someone's here. 
Uh oh. Here's a singing. Do this. Let's do battle. Wow, that's visceral. I'm not even sure what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Whoa. Nice dash in there. Take him down. Man, she's a badass. This is some. Oh, whoa! Really? Smoke? There's too many of them now. Whoa. I think I might, I might die here. But it could be on purpose. Wow, look at the ground effect. She's gonna spring back into action, isn't she? <laughs> no? Okay. Because that last time she was close, that was unnerving, to be honest. Of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. The seed of the soul. Until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. Wow, I gotta get some uh, some save games here. And all progress will be wow, this is uh this is hardcore. I have to be real careful here. But I think I had to die in this particular mission. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for 
for now at least she still has control of her mind and she will fulfill her vow whatever the cost I'm not so certain if she has full control of her mind to be honest at this point but I guess it's a uh, foreshadowing of things to come listen to me Senua the goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Okay. <laughs> Who are we going to mess with first? to fight two gods first. Two gods, two, two gates. Wow. Oh. <laughs> She's going to die. Which one should Which I choose? One Actually, one let's see if I can save the game. Oh yeah, so I just tried to save the game. There's no really saving the game, but I quit the main menu and I can continue later on exactly from this position. So I think I'm gonna keep on going with this game in the next video. Uh, I don't know which way I should go first. I'm thinking I'm going right. That seemed like a bit of a... The God of Fire was a little, maybe a little bit easier to handle than the God of Soot. And... Whatever else was said about him. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go right. <laughs> That's in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe for more VR gameplay. In any case, I'm really thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.